Use one onion tonight if you want freedom from your enemies and from witchcraft attack. Are you looking worried? You are distressed. You are always worried that the enemy is constantly against your life. The enemy wants to destroy your life. Please use just one onion tonight and watch what happens to your enemies. If you don't do this spiritual exercise, I'm afraid your enemies and witchcraft attacks okay, may destroy your life. But I pray that this doesn't happen to you in the mighty name of God. Amen. So if you want to learn this powerful spiritual exercise, I really want you to continue to watch this video because it is definitely going to bless you more than you can ever think of. So my name is Precious and this is Precious Spiritual TV. On this channel, we pray, we seek the face of God Almighty, we read scripture, we do spiritual exercises, and God Almighty has been very faithful to us on this channel. If you are interested in what we do, please continue to watch this video. Make sure you stick with us be with us here don't go anywhere and let's do this together so i just want you to get one onion ready because this is going to bless your life now let's start so now this video is about how to use just one onion okay to protect yourself from enemies and from witchcraft attack okay i'm discussing what spiritual attack is because a lot of people still don't know what spiritual attack is and how it affects people from different religions, all right? And I will also share with you how to use it, just one on you, to protect yourself and how to pro how to use it to stop witchcraft attack. So let's start right now. First thing first. Now, what is witchcraft attack? Do you know what that is? Have you ever experienced witchcraft in your life? All right? Witchcraft attack is a form of spiritual attack that is directed towards a person by someone who uses witchcraft or somebody who practices witchcraft. Now, they can use what I call supernatural powers to cause harm, to cause misfortune. They can even cause death to the victim. So that's why this spiritual attack is actually very, very powerful. I've seen a situation whereby somebody that suffers from spiritual attack just dies just like that all right but i'm praying that you god almighty will protect you your enemies will not use you as a specimen for destruction in the mighty name of god now i want to let you know that this affect people from different religions okay whether you're a christian whether you're a muslim whether you're a buddhist whatever religion you have it doesn't really matter no one is immune against spiritual attacks or witchcraft attack it can affect anyone regardless of their faith so however as believers okay we have the power of god in us already we have the power of god in our side okay and we can use it to protect ourselves and that's why we're using this onion right now <clears throat> now let's go in the bible and read some verse in there all right so i'm going to read that from in the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 12, it says, For our struggle is not against the flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against principalities, against authorities, against the powers of this dark world. All right. And um, the verse reminds us that we are not actually fighting against people. That's why I said, Don't fight physically against people, just fight the battle spiritually. Okay, because you are fighting against spiritual powers. So now, how can we fight against spiritual forces of the evil? The answer is onion right now. Yes, you had it right. That's what we're using right now. Onion, I want to remind you that this has been used for centuries, right? It was used by different religious practices, different religious people, traditional people. Okay, they use it as a powerful tool to protect protect themselves against witchcraft attack and how can you use it right now please get one onion right now so you're going to do it this way so this onion you can use any onion that you have whether it is yellow onion red onion green onion please get any onion that you have so you want to make sure that the onion you have is not dry it has to be juicy okay it doesn't have to be big as this one 
So make sure that you, <clears throat> if it's dirty, make sure you cleanse it first with salt water. Because you never know, especially for people, for you, maybe you buy this from open market where anybody might, might have touched this. You want to make sure you cleanse it first in salt water. After that, please activate this oil. How do you activate it? I've explained that several times, how to activate on any items that you have. Just put this outside your house. You can put it on the window. You can put it by your door. Okay, just for 30 minutes to make it powerful, to make it spiritual, to make it energetic, to make it absorb the powerful moon energy or the sun energy. Okay, you can activate it ahead of time and use it at bedtime before you sleep. It's very important. So once it has been activated, okay, now let me go, let me say this. For you, maybe it's not possible for you to put something outside, I mean to put this outside your house because nobody must touch this and nobody must see it except you because it's just for you, right? So now, if it's not possible to put things outside your house, just simply activate this right there inside your bedroom. You can put your middle finger on it, all right, and bless it. Has God Almighty to turn it into a powerful tool, okay, that will protect you, that will destroy all forms of witchcraft, any enemy attacking your life in the mighty name of God, all right? You can simply just, you can also blow the hair from your mouth over it or the hair from your nose. You just blow it over it seven times and say a word of prayer over it. That's all you do. So now, once all of that is done, which is what I call uh, onion activation, once that's done, then you're going to do this right now. So now, you can do it right there in your bedroom, okay? You can do it in your office place. You can do it anywhere you are. So you're going to hold this onion. Please try and peel the skin off. You peel all the skin off. You, keep, you peel the clean skin from the, from the onion. And you are going to make sure that you cut this into smaller pieces. All right? You will chop it into smaller pieces. Just chop it while you, are, while you are holding. So now, after chopping it, you are going to now hold them in your hand like this. Okay? I'm doing this because some people are allergic to onion. Because I'm very conversant of that. I know people that are allergic to it. If you have allergy, don't do it. Don't cut it. Okay, don't cut it. Just simply hold this like this. But if you have no allergy to it, if you can handle onion and you are, you'll be fine, okay, then you can cut it. You get what I'm saying? But for the benefit of those who are allergic to it, just simply hold the onion like this in your hand and pray over it. Has God Almighty to bless it, to make it a powerful weapon against witchcraft, okay, to make it as a powerful weapon that will protect you that will send all evil harm back to the enemies, that will destroy your, all your enemies, and that will keep you safe in the mighty name of God. Amen, amen, amen. So now, that onion, okay, whether you cut it or you leave it like this, you are not going to take this onion. Just keep it in one corner of your home. If you like, keep it under your pillow. If you like, keep it under your bed. If you like, keep it by your bedside. All right, you have options right there. Okay, for people that will say, okay, I don't sleep on a bed, I sleep on the floor, just keep it beside you or you can keep it anywhere that is as, as long as it is closer to you. If you have a bed, just slide it under your bed, keep it there. All right, if you have a pillow, you can slide it under your pillow, in your pillow sleeve, okay, and leave it there. Now, if, let's say you cut this into smaller pieces, you're going to make sure that you take the pieces, you put it in different corners of your room. Different corners of your room. So that will create a protective barrier, like a protective barrier, a protective weapon that will chase away any evil spirit in your home, any evil principality in your home. It's actually very, very powerful. Now, if you feel like you are being attacked by witchcraft, while you are outside your home. Because witchcraft is not just only in your home. It doesn't mean that just because you're sleeping now, then you have been attacked in your home alone. You may be attacked outside your home too. So spiritual attacks, witchcraft attacks could be anywhere. 
It could be outside your house, maybe when you are going to your business place, in your office or anywhere. So if you feel like you are being attacked while you are outside, okay, please carry a small piece of onion with you. Always carry it with you. All right? You can cut smaller pieces. If you don't want to cut it, you can take the onion itself and just carry it with you. If you like, put it in your in your bag. Put it in your pocket, wherever it is. Just keep it somewhere, as long as it's with you. This will act as a shield, okay? Against, okay, as a shield around you, as a hedge around you, and it to protect you from any harm. Oh my goodness, that's so powerful. So now, another thing you can do, if you're somebody that eats onion, Okay, you can eat onion. So now, let's say you cut this onion now. You put some in your home. You can eat some of it too if you want to. It's not a must. But if you're somebody that you're okay with eating onion, you can eat a piece of onion before you go to bed. Just eat it. All right, it's good. Though I know it's very peppery. It can, it can, make, you, it can make your hairs, I mean your eyes teary, of course. But that's fine. If you're okay with it, just eat some, just a piece of it and say a very powerful prayer. That tonight, as I eat onion before I go to bed, I use this to absorb all the negative energy in my body, in my home, in my space, in my temple. And I use it to protect myself while I sleep in the mighty name of God. Amen. You can eat it before you sleep. You can use it when you wake up in the morning, even when you're going out. If you are okay with this smell, all right, because your your breath may smell, you know, somehow, okay. So please, you can do that. As you can see, using onion to protect yourself from witchcraft is very simple but very very powerful. It is a natural and effective way to fight against the evil forces of the enemies. Now, now you're going to make sure that you keep the onion. In your, in your home, like under your bed or anywhere you keep it, you make sure that you leave it there until it does its job. Just let it do its job. Okay? It may smell in your home, but that's okay. Personally, I like the smell. But I'm telling you, in the spiritual realm, the enemies, the evil forces, they eat onion. All right? If you have this around you, no evil forces will come against you. And that's sure. So now, before you keep it in your home, please read some powerful psalms. If you're a Christian, you can read some powerful psalms. Before you keep the onions, just read powerful psalms okay, in the Bible. Psalms like Psalm 35, Psalm 91, Psalm 109, okay, Psalm 121. You can read all these powerful psalms on the onion and use it as a point of prayer, okay? against your enemies, that you're using these to send all evil back to the enemy. You are using these to protect yourself, to protect your household. You are using these to destroy the enemies without even fighting. Because you are not fighting your enemies physically. You are simply just fighting the battle spiritually. You get what I'm saying? So please say a powerful prayer and just keep it under your bed, keep it beside your bed, Keep it somewhere around where you sleep, all right, and go to bed. What will happen will shock you. When you do this powerful spiritual exercise, let me remind you, you may have some dreams, very powerful dreams. But don't be scared. God Almighty is your protector, all right? God Almighty is your protector. You may start to see yourself fighting spiritual battles, seeing yourself fighting in a dream, okay? But be cheerful. God Almighty is right there with you and victory is yours in the mighty name of God. During this time, you may start to lose some fake friends. When I say lose, I'm not saying your friends are going to die. I'm just simply saying those who are fake, those friends that act as friends, but then they are fake. Okay, they are your enemies. They may run away from you. Some of them will come and confess. Okay, some of them will just simply just disconnect from you because you'll be too strong okay, for, for them to destroy. So that's how powerful that is. So please leave it there for as long as you can. As long as this onion is still, eventually this may start turning black, 
you may start changing colors. Once it changes color, maybe it turns black or something, just simply take the onion and throw it out, okay? So when you throw it out, please don't use your beer hand. Don't use beer hand like this to take onion. Make sure you wear a glove or some plastic to take it and discard it outside your house. You can bury it, you can throw it in the trash outside your house, you can throw it in the flowing water, whatever works for you. But don't use your, don't use your bare hand, please. Even after throwing it out, when you get home, make sure you wash your hand very well. Okay? And thank God Almighty for answering your prayer, for destroying your enemies, for sending all evil arm back to the enemies in the mighty name of God. So as you can see, using onion to protect yourself from witchcraft attacks is very simple but it's very, very powerful. It's a natural and effective way to fight against the evil forces, against the forces of evil. Now, let's just read a, uh, a powerful scripture in the Bible. I will go to Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10. It says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous run to it, and are safe. Remember to always trust in God, and seek his protection in time of need. And God Almighty in his infinite mercy will protect you in the mighty name of God. Amen. So I want to believe that this video makes sense to you. I believe that you learn a new way, a powerful way to use just one onion, okay, to free yourself from the attacks of the enemy and to free yourself from witchcraft attack. I believe that you are going to do this. I believe that this makes sense to you. I believe that you believe that this powerful spiritual exercise will destroy all your enemies fast in the mighty name of God. If you agree with me and you believe that this is already going to work for you, just type in the comment section, say I agree and I believe that God Almighty will use this onion to defeat my enemies, to free me from witchcraft attack, to free me from the attacks of the enemies in the mighty name of God. Amen, amen, amen. So thank you so much for watching our video on how to use onion to protect yourself from enemies and witchcraft attacks. I hope this information and this spiritual exercise was helpful to you. So stay safe and be blessed. So if you have any prayer requests at all, you want me to pray for you over anything, please put the prayer request in the comment section and I'm definitely going to pray for you. I pray for you every single day and I believe that God Almighty in His infinite mercy will answer your prayers and i'm praying for you all for as many of you that are watching me right now that are doing this spiritual exercise or that are about to do this i pray that this simple spiritual exercise will work for you like fire it will protect you you will be free from witchcraft attack you'll be free from the attacks of the enemies all witchcraft okay will be destroyed in your life in the mighty name of jesus amen 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 so thank you so much for watching if you have any prayer requests, like I said, please put them in the comment section. And after this live streaming, I'm definitely going to use them to pray for you. And I believe that God Almighty will answer your prayers in the mighty name of God. Please never leave this video without pressing the like button. So if you're just joining, what I talked about is very, very powerful. How to use just onion, okay? Onion, this vegetable, okay? which personally I call it a spirit. So it's actually very, very powerful. How to use this to destroy witchcraft attack in your life? It's powerful. You don't want to miss it. Go to the start of the video. Watch it from the start till the end. Don't skip any part of it. Because if you skip it, you will miss all the powerful information, the prayers, the scriptures, everything that I talked about in here. So please do that. And God Almighty will bless you abundantly. So if you love this video, please like this video right now. Just encourage us by liking this video, by sharing it. Let it go viral, okay? Watch it as many times as possible. If you know anybody that is going through witchcraft attack at this time and you want them to be free, please share this video to them. Share it on your WhatsApp. You may think this is not for you. <laughs> it is for you. And it's for a lot of people out there. So help us share it. And God Almighty who answer your prayer in the mighty name of God. Amen, 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 amen. So like this video right now, and God bless you. So I'm coming back with another powerful spiritual exercise. It's definitely going to bless your life. Do you want me to come back? Please let me know in the comment section. I'm going to be here maybe in about 
20 minutes or so. So please don't go anywhere. So please uh, join me in about 20 minutes and God Almighty will bless you. I love you all and I know you love me too. God bless you. Bye. I'll see you.